Welcome to Corporate Finance. Welcome to session nine of Introduction to Corporate Finance. My name is Greg Pierce, the Corporate Finance Coach, and I'm coming to you from high top Mount Nittany in the Nittany Valley in the Nittany Mountains of central Pennsylvania. Today we're going to talk about net present value and uh, five other investment criteria for evaluating your um, capital investments. Uh, assets define the company, and so it's very important to make good decisions when we're making major capital investments uh, over time. And so we'll look at six different uh, methods for evaluating your capital investments uh, to try and make good decisions. And again, we want these assets to be more valuable than the uh, original purchase cost of them over time. Uh, method number one and the best method for evaluating capital investments uh, with the uh, least amount of uh, negatives is net present value. And we'll go over how to calculate each of these. Just remember that NPV is the most important and heavily used um, method. And so it's very important for us to learn it. Uh, second, we have payback period, a very simple method that's been in use for many, many years, probably since uh, the 50s. Um, how, when does the CFO get her money back? If she gives you 50 million bucks to uh, invest in a major capital investment project, when does she get paid back? So a number of years. So payback period is in years. Uh, we can also do a discounted payback. Why don't we discount the cash flows and bring them, uh, the cash inflows, bring them back to today and uh, see when we uh, pay the CFO back. So we'll look at discounted payback method also. Average accounting return is average net income over average book value. So we can use two common accounting um, uh, pieces of information that are readily available to calculate the average accounting return. Another impo very important and heavily used method is internal rate of return. What, the, what is exactly internal rate of return? The rate at which the MPV is equal to zero or the rate at which my discounted cash inflows equal my, equals my initial cash outflow. So we'll look at uh, IRR, very heavily used um, method. And finally, profitability index, which is used heavily in nonprofits and governmental organizations. Uh, it's kind of the bang for the buck and um, what is the uh, present value of cash flows divided by the original cost of the investment. So essentially, we'll have uh, seven learning objectives, the six methods of uh, that I just mentioned, plus uh, how heavily are these six methods used in the practice of capital budgeting. First, MPV, the most important of the six methods, uh, an investment is worth undertaking if it creates value. Uh, here I have a, um, a sample product that you may have used. This is the Mach 3. Uh, Gillette owns a significant part of the uh, wet razor market. And uh, this, is, this was one of their prominent products uh, in the scheme of things. Uh, they spent um, almost a billion dollars developing this Mach 3. So they put a significant amount of money into this product. Um, and will it ever sell one and will it ever generate a good return is something we have to look at. Uh, 300 million on marketing, uh, 700 million on R&D. Uh, many students receive this uh, in the mail for free, uh, one of these uh, razor handles and one or two blades when they were 18 years old. Why? Uh, Gillette wants to build brand loyalty. So if this is a good product, you'll keep buying it and buying it and buying it. You know that uh, your local Walmart or local drugstore, this may go for 8 or 9 $10, and it comes with one or two blades today. Um, and then each cartridge in the new Gillette models may cost three, four, five, six dollars per. It's almost like the HP printer model where the printer is given away for a hundred dollars and each cartridge costs fifty to a hundred dollars to uh, replace color cartridge. So um, is this a positive MPV project is the question. Well, what should we price this product at and uh, what are the relevant cash flows and so on? We may ask, must ask all these questions carefully. Uh, and will people like them? So from the track two in 1972 to the Mach 3 in 1996, uh, uh, around the 93 to 96 time frame to the Fusion uh, ProGlide today, these are major capital investments and they take years and years and years to develop. So we must look at methods to evaluate these investments. Uh, so MPV is the first one we're going to talk about. An investment is worth undertaking if it creates value. You may go into the um, housing business or construction business on the side perhaps uh, in the evenings um, and you want to know if you put some labor and material, uh, buy some land and put some labor and material into it, uh, will it be a positive MPV project? Uh, here's an example here where we put $25,000 into some land. We put $25,000 into some labor and materials. And uh, in the very short time, three to six months, we have a house built 
and uh, we sell for $60,000. Is this a positive MPV project is the question. Um, and the question is, yes, in this case, in a short time frame, very little time value of money, we have a market value of 60000 a cost of 50000 an MPV of 10000 good investment. So the general rule for NPV is uh, positive MPV accept and negative MPV reject. Uh, basically, we go through this process by uh, estimating the initial uh, cash outflow, which we have a pretty good handle on, and, and then we estimate the future cash inflows. And then, again, discounted cash flow analysis, taking these back to today, to the left, uh, at a uh, discount rate, and then estimate the MPV. Let's go into the fertilizer business, just as another example. Um, in this case, uh, $20,000 a year in sales, $14,000 a year in cost, eight years, uh, salvage value of $2,000, project cost $30,000 today. So the initial cash outflow is $30,000, discount rate of 15%. Is this a good decision? Is this a positive NPV project? So we do a timeline once again. Uh, any of these sessions, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, uh, you want to draw timelines. They will help you analyze these discounted cash flow analyses. Uh, and then you see the cash inflows of 20 per year for eight years. Almost looks like an annuity, doesn't it? And then the uh, 14 uh, of cash outflow, and um, you get a net cash inflow of $6,000 a year. We have that salvage value out there in year eight of $2,000. So we can we think we can, uh, after using it for eight years, we can sell the equipment for 2K. And then we have our cash flow totals at the bottom. Now, net present value will tell us to take these cash uh, flows, discount them back to today at 15%, and then compare that to the cash outflow of 30000 Now, uh, if you look at the um, the uh, net inflows, they are 66666. That looks a lot like an annuity. So we can do a present value annuity on those cash flows and discount them at 15%. And then that 2000 almost looks like a, a bond uh, face value. We can take that back to today using the future value, present value formula. Um, so the present value of the cash inflows is 27578 uh, and uh, compare that to the uh, cash, that's a cash inflow, and then the cash outflows are negative 30000 today, so that's today versus today, and we get a negative 2422 as our net present value. So at the 15% discount rate, we have a bad investment here because we have negative MPV. Again, very simply, the MPV rule is, decision rule is MPV positive, good investment, MPV bad, MPV negative, bad investment. So just remember uh, the MPV rule. Uh, here's another example. Suppose we're going to look whether uh, consumer products should be launched. Uh, you get uh, 2000 in the first few years, 4000 in the next two, and 5000 in the last year. It will cost 10000 today to begin production of this, and we're going to discount our cash flows at 10%. Again, we draw a timeline, show the cash flows coming in, and then discount them back, divided by 1.1, divided by 1.1 squared, 1.1 cubed, and so on. And then compare those cash inflows uh, by the uh, with the negative ten thousand dollars of cash outflow today, and we see an MPV positive of uh, twenty three hundred dollars MPV or cash flow positive MPV positive uh, net of twenty three hundred dollars. So we accept this project.